everybody, it's Jeremy. So today's video is going to be how I film and edit my videos. And I use the iPad and my iPod to film. So yeah, I'll show you all the apps. Okay, so the things I'm going to be showing you are how to do transitions, how to move text like this, and how to put text everywhere and customize text. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so to film I use this tripod. I'm not sure what the name is. And because I film with my iPod, I use this tripod mount. Okay, so I edit on a iPad 4. So first we're going to go into our uh, software editing, which I prefer is iMovie. We'll start a new project, movie. And then I like bright. And then here we go, your movie is created. So you're going to go into your recently added photos. And here you'll see the video that you just watched. So I'll go and click that little arrow. See, I'll show you guys again. Click that little arrow right there. That arrow right there. And that will drag the video clip to your timeline. Just like that. And by clicking on the video, you could go so where wherever the video starts. So Hey everybody. So right here. I'm going to click split, and it's going to split the clip. Then I'm going to delete this clip. So then it'll start right away like this. Hey everybody, it's Jeremy, and... Keep doing this until you're, you like the way your clip is. Okay, so there's also other features in iMovie, iMovie that you could use. So you could use the speed, you could change the speed to make it slower or faster. Um, the volume, if you want to make it louder because you're not speaking loud enough, you could fix that. T the there's not much I don't really use the text because there's not much choice on iMovie so that's why I'm gonna be showing you an app where there are at least 300 texts that you could use and then you have the filters so if you want to add a filter you could just do that to your clip next thing we're gonna be doing is transitions so let's say I'm gonna split the clip right here and I'm gonna take this part out delete this you see right there right here that's for transitions. So I, if I click on the line, you have all these transitions. So you have the theme, dissolve, slide, wipe, fade. So I prefer slide. So here's how it looks. A video I've been working on for a long time. Hey, everybody. So yeah. Once you're done your clip, you're going to want to click done up here. And then right here, you're going to export your movie. Say, do save video and then HD and then just wait until your movie is exported. So the app that you're gonna need for text which I I strongly consider you get if you wanna have really cool text you go here there, it's a it's an app called Vaunt so you go to this little camera icon you press it low new video camera roll and then you go to the video you just made, which is right here. And now you could add text. So let's say I want to add text right here. I, I click on the video. Click add text. Test. And then I click done. And then if you want to move the text, you just move it like this. And then if you want to change the font of the text, you just click on font. And there's all these different fonts. Now some of them are paid which I bought, but you get a lot of fonts with the free app. So yeah, and then if you want to change the style, you do that, the size, tilt, and move. So if you want to be precise and move the text like that. So yeah, that's what I use for my videos for text. And once you're done, you just uh, click right here, the arrow in the box, and then export movie. Okay, so the last app I use um, is actually an app called QCup Pro. So this app makes uh, you move text, like it makes it move text really cool, so I'll show you how to do this. So right here, up here, there's a plus, so you're going to click on the plus, and then type in the movie name, and then click done. Now you're in your movie. So now you're going to click the plus, you're going to go to video, 
then you go to the video we just made and then choose and then it should be right there and then you go to plus and you're gonna have to go on the internet and search up uh, the image you want the PNG so right here I have um, uh, a thumbs up sign PNG PNG basically means that there won't be any background so you click on this and it's gonna be right here so you move it so you make it a little longer And then you put it where you want, where you want it to start. Then right here, there's like a magic wand. So you click on the magic wand. You click the plus and custom transition. Then it's going to right here. And then you move it somewhere else. Same thing. Plus custom transition somewhere else. Plus custom transition. And you keep doing this and you keep doing this until you, it's like how you want it. So custom transition custom transition and then gone custom transition so I'll show you what it looks like now so yeah that's how it looks you could do that with text images whatever you want okay guys that's it for today's video I actually truly hope you enjoyed it and I if we can get this video to 45 likes, I will be doing a special giveaway. So, like it up if you want to do a giveaway. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.